right back into the swing of things. Thank yeah. you for everybody who joined us last night again at our Royal Rumble watch party. Uh, we had a lot of fun, despite our opinions, what you may hear now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, that, but that's the thing. I always end up like, I have fun in the moment when I'm watching those shows. It's always better live. It is. It, it, it's always better live because if you just, when it comes to WWE, if you just don't think about it for too long, <laughs> yeah, you, you can kind of enjoy it. Man, Shane McMahon, really? Like, <laughs> just, uh The guy couldn't even get eliminated properly. Nope. <laughs> oh, God, that, that was so, like, just... Oh, quick, talk about these guys before I get upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Volador Jr. is... is uh, I mean, he's basically the ace of CMLL. Like, he's been there... 23 years I think I don't know I can't remember him working consistently for any other uh, lucha promotions just a just a massive star for that promotion um, he uh, in 2010 was ranked as high as number 81 now he's back down to 183 this year um, had a four and a half star match with bandito of course he doesn't have a four and a half star match with bandito um, at uh, Super Viernes uh, last March, uh, just he's he's still got it at a at a pretty advanced age. Uh, and uh, Atsushi uh, Kotoge is not a not exactly a, a young spring chicken either, uh, but he, he's a 16 year pro, but does not have the uh, the resume that Volador does. Um, this is only Kotoge's second time on the list. Uh, he was number 199. I'm sorry, it's his third time? I don't know. Uh, he was unranked last year, uh, so he's back on the list after a year off. Uh, GHC Junior Heavyweight uh, Tag Champions for a while. Uh, the GHC uh, Junior Champion uh, Singles title. Uh, yeah, he's a you know he's a, he's a, a a name in Noah, but he's definitely not the the level of star uh, that Volador is. Uh, son of uh, Super uh, Super Parka is that no not yeah Super Parka yeah the original Volador yes uh, and Volador uh, is Spanish for flying, uh, which he does a lot. Yes, very much. <laughs> uh, Less so now that he's uh, uh, 40, one, 41. Uh, but he is, uh, but, but he, Super Parka, is the grandfather of the son uh, of the 27-year-old uh, flyer. That is the yes. name of that luchador. <laughs> yes, who is on the 500, um, but I have not found an edit for. Uh, so I will eventually make one if nobody else does, but uh, if you feel like making an edit of Flyer, I will not be upset. Uh, he's also the nephew of L.A. Park and the cousin of El Hijo de L.A. Park. That's quite a lineage. <laughs> yes. Derek Moore from WWE is our referee, getting all the way up to a two count before Volador returns to the ring. Derek Moore, um, Derek Moore. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, during the break I was browsing through Sean Ross Sapp's Twitter from last night because he was at the show uh, uh, live tweeting it and he's got some some pretty great pictures of the uh, uh, the mania sign catching on fire oh I gotta check that out yeah, yeah. How, how about that like that is that isn't the he's, thing that he's got video of talking it too. about it's uh oh gosh i'm watching the video now it is wild <laughs> um, so yeah so they apparently they they lowered the sign they evacuated the area they lowered the sign put out the fire and raised the sign back up all during the becky dewdrop match so you don't didn't even notice it uh live but uh by the way, Corey Graves uh, tweeted, uh, Brock stole my number. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, 
Good lord. Uh, I just this. This has nice been such an interesting, okay. interesting amount of recapping uh, and um, uh, like feedback. Just a little bit removed after. Oh, I'm watching the video now. The sign is on fire again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that Molly was a producer on the women's rumble match. Well, she did a good job for the most part. Yeah. But anyway, there is a match going on. Uh, <laughs> Lots of uh, running back and forth in this match. They are they are going to exhaust themselves, or they're just going to big splash. That was huge hype, almost. Um, uh, I would say Volador levels of height. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, or for a, uh, a a U.S. equivalent, uh, it was a it was a Montez Ford level height. How, that it, guy, his... the air he got on that frog splash last night. He had he's such a tall guy, so the extension that he gets on his legs when he jumps up, yeah. it's just insane. He's uh he's gonna be something special when they finally break him out as a single star. Oh, Kadogi hits the kill switch. That's his finish. Up he is. Ah, oh, no. gut wrench, nice. twisting power bomb from Volador. Tornado gut wrench. You don't see those. No. Going strike for strike though. Very evenly matched in terms of size, relatively close in experience. Um, there it is again. Bit of a top. eye of the storm type move. What's he going up top for? Oh, big oh. Rana. Showing the. Uh, now, this is something we don't see done. in our simulations too often is them carrying them into the middle of the ring. <laughs> no. Two. Oh, almost got him with the back slide. 2.9 only. First you had my curiosity. Oh. Now you've got my attention. <laughs> let's uh let's say that was a kick to the inner thigh from yeah. uh, Bullador to get out of that butterfly suplex. I mean there's a chair outside. There's it's a little crazy. And uh yeah. You can't roll him up though. Roll up. Not, not that would... Katogi forgot where he was for a moment. <laughs> Sends Bullador into the barricade. Already up to a ten count. Again, we uh, crazy. we do use the Japanese twenty count rules here uh, at PWS. Shrine, and then just a big splash. Yeah, for, uh, <laughs> two two point nine. Oh, Man. I thought that was it. I really Lots did. Lots of good near falls in this one. Been a pretty good night of action, so or for sure. morning of action. It still feels like night. Yeah, this we had like a short rest and it carried over into the next day. Life is yeah. blurry right now. There was no was, still outside. <laughs> it was very much a short rest. I did not uh, replenish my my uh, my spell slots. I, I was I was oh editing. Uh, speaking of spell slots, I was editing the uh, first episode of uh, Wavefinder's Guild for yes. <laughs> for Monday night, and I kind of wrapped up around 3 a.m. last night, <laughs> and I'm Man. still not done. <laughs> that was only just like a basic like audio uh, consistency thing. Yeah. Now I have to add like visuals. <laughs> I thought I had a rough night because. Uh... Uh, it was congested and uh, thus uh, making some noise <laughs> while she slept. Dude, I'm the worst when it comes to it because I, I, I mean, like, I'm so sensitive to other people snoring, except for my own. <laughs> I will wake up from any other noise. Oop, destroyer from Whoa! Bodor. I mean, it's not as good as Bad Bunny's, but... No. <laughs> then who's this? You think uh, you think PD taught him that since he's a I producer? Would, I would I I would I would like to think so. It it is honestly, it is one of like the safest cool moves that mm -hmm. a non wrestler can do because a lot of it is all on the other person. Yeah, moving themselves into a backflip basically. It's basically it's a sunset flip just with the. Um, the person taking it landing on their head. Springboard. 
springboard into the run of West Coast Pop from Is that Volador. It? Is that it? No. Wow. He kicks out. This has been close. This has really been close. This might be my favorite match of the night. <laughs> The day. What is what is Volador <laughs> thinking now? Moonsault, Whoa. Arehara moonsault to the floor. <laughs> from that was clean. Oh, man, you know, Volador's like sometimes good, in these man. games they don't always like catch oh, them. Oh jeez. That that power. was like a real clean like actual catch of yeah. that move. Sometimes like the game will glitch them and, and you won't see them connect all the time. But that was really good. Oh, I thought that was gonna win by countout for that big thrust kick, but he missed. And a collision. Yeah, these guys, are, guys are they're just, they're out of it right now. This, this is uh this is this is fun. <laughs> Toge suplex them. They're going back to the floor. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's going on? Tope oh Tope Konhiro <laughs> from, <laughs> from Katoke at the 20 minute mark. They're still busting out big moves here. This is crazy. Winding up. What is he winding up for? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's got him. <laughs> got him. Winding up to get uh, backbreaker on the floor. 17. They're really Ooh, getting like these the second, third, fourth wins to climb out and back into the ring. Ooh, nice roll up out of that Rana. Nope, only two. God, they're so close. This has, to get up Jack this has to get 100%. This has to get 100%. Behind. The Standing excitement switch. factor of this match. Kill switch. There it is, right in the center of the ring. Come on. That's gotta be it. One, One two, two, three. three. Yep. Katoge pulls off the upset. Awesome match. Match of the day.